Hello everyone and welcome to a Wilkes University tutorial video. Today I am going to walk you through the ABSN 330 course to give you an overview of the content tab, the discussions, assignments, and quizzes. So for starters, we've done a ton of uh, other tutorial videos that are listed in the virtual welcome packet. I encourage you to check those out. Um, but today's focus, like I said, will begin with the content tab. And I like the content tab because it has really everything that you need to know in the entire course. So you have the table of contents, course overview and syllabi, and furthermore, you have all of the weeks listed and all of the required assignments and information therein. So weeks are also known as modules. So module one is week one, module two is week two, etc. And let's take a look at week one. So every time you open the week, you have an overview at the top of the page. And when you open that, it is a great layout uh, for what you can expect throughout the week. So an introduction, the learning objectives, list of readings, and then the resources, assignments, and activities. So when you're looking through the week in the content tab, you can begin with the overview, but you also can see everything uh, that you need listed in this format. Uh, one of the things you'll note is how the discussions are posted in two links. Um, so this is the same discussion and it has two links for one discussion. The reason therein is so that you can really thoroughly go through the instructions before submitting the assignment. Wanna make sure that you process everything before moving forward. So when you first click the instructions link, you'll notice that every discussion assignment and quiz has a banner across the top. And it has the discussion type, whole class or individual, uh, the due date, which is listed by the day of the week as opposed to the actual date. So instead of having to worry about when May 26th is, you can just think, okay, it's, it's day three, that's Wednesday. It's day seven, that's Sunday. So the week begins on Monday and you'll get used to this format. Uh, the point value and then the rubrics are also available, which are great to kind of see exactly what's required for each assignment. Then further down, you get the discussion overview and the submission instructions, and you can actually just click enter the discussion and it will take you, uh, it'll take you to the hyperlink that is the second link that's titled submit here. Um, but also you can just click this one and then click this one and, and either way is fine. Now let's take a look at the assignments. Uh, in week two, there's an introduction to an assignment due in week eight, the professional writing assignment. And again, you've got the same banner. This is an individual assignment due on its Sunday of week eight point value system, rubric. And then what I really like about the assignments is the timeline. So you've got, uh, if you click through here, week two, week five, week eight, great breakdown of everything that's required. And then the steps for completing the paper as well. Each bar will tell you a different piece of the paper that's required. So I really like this view. Um, and it, it's one of the neat things about when you're going through your assignments. Now let's look at the quizzes. So when you have a quiz, um, you may have it in two different formats. So I'm going to start off by looking at week three, where you have a quiz that's administered through the live system itself. So you'll notice that you've got the instructions and then the quiz. Again, the same breakdown as the discussion post, right? Two posts for the same uh, thing. So if you read the instructions, you'll see, again, a list of, of the banner telling you the due date, the, the amount of questions, the time limit, an overview, and then instructions. So you can just take the quiz and it will take you to the, the second link. Uh, now, you're using this through the live system, and all of this will be covered in the orientation course itself. However, we also use a program called ExamSoft, and you will use that to take uh, other quizzes as well. So it'll be dependent on what the week is and what the content is, but sometimes your quizzes will be administered through ExamSoft. So in week one, uh, the quiz that you have to take is one that you'll be taking through the ExamSoft program. And again, this will all be covered during the orientation program. I don't want to throw you off. I just want to make sure that you can see when you open each quiz, this quiz will be administered by ExamSoft. So uh, this is going to be something you will train with during uh, orientation and you're going to feel really comfortable. But I hope that it was helpful to kind of view the quizzes, assignments, the discussion posts, and the importance of the content tab. Like I said, we have a ton of other helpful FAQs and video resources in the virtual welcome packet. And don't hesitate to reach out to your professor if you have any questions about the course content. And also feel free to reach out to your student success advisor with any questions about policies, procedures, or even insights as to what would make great tutorial videos. We'd love to hear from you. So until next time, take care.